Good day and welcome back to another Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matz and we continue in the book of 1 Timothy. Today we're in, in chapter 5. going to look at more guidelines for young widows and really uh, guidelines for marriage. There's a lot to be said for responsibility in marriage. Men have their responsibilities and women have their responsibilities. And a mutual understanding of these responsibilities worked out under the guidelines of Scripture will go a long way in fulfillment, mutual fulfillment in a marriage. So we read today from 1 Timothy 5, 14 and 15, which says, Therefore I desire that the younger widows marry, bear children, manage the house, Give no opportunity to the adversary to speak reproachfully, for some have already turned aside after Satan. 1 Timothy 5, 14 and 15. Now, when you see that word therefore in Scripture, you know that you always have to look back a couple of verses to see what the therefore is there for. Well, these younger widows in the preceding verses had cast aside their faith and sought the pleasures of the world. They desired to look outside the bounds of Christ for their marital partners and for their fulfillment. There are strict requirements in accordance with God's word in the matter of remarriage. In addition, many with this newfound free time available to them upon the death of their spouse wasted their time in becoming gossips and busybodies, speaking things which they should not. So the Holy Spirit, speaking through Paul here, urges these young widows to follow a different course. He urges them, first of all, by inference, to guard their faith in Christ. Number one. Guard your faith in Christ. Desire to continue to follow Christ. Weymouth's New Testament puts it this way. Don't chafe against the yoke of Christ. Keep following Him. And in following Christ, the opportunity may arise to remarry. The widow is free to take advantage of the opportunity in accordance with the Word of God. In addition, she's encouraged to fulfill her role then in this marriage, chief of which is to bear children should the Lord bless in such a way. And she is to take on all the important, the all-important role of managing the house. Rather than casting aside all restraints of body and mouth and basically giving herself over to Satan, she is to seek to remain under Christ and become that Proverbs 31 woman. Take the time to read that sometime, Proverbs 31, 10 through 31, and you will see what I mean. Who could possibly speak against such a woman? There's a great deal to be said about utilizing the God-given skills of a woman in this context. But don't use this text as a sledgehammer. Let all married men and women work out their marriage as best as they can, always seeking to allow the Holy Spirit to teach and guide through Scripture, through the Word of God, thereby bringing glory to God. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.